special stakes program. The new premium stakes program and Breeders' Cup Day. Racing's $10 million championship. The champion returns in the Californian. Grade one, $300,000 out of the mile and an eighth for three and up at Hollywood Park. And each scared away most of the horses, a field of only three for the Californian. Charlatan, and take a look at the weight break here. 15 pounds he gets from Sunday Silence. Stylish winner with Corey Black getting 11 pounds. Pat Valenzuela again picked up the mount on the horse of the year after Chris McCann went down in the accident earlier. Sunday Silence at one to nine. Here's the California now with Australian caller, the new voice of Hollywood Park, Michael Rona. They're ready. Racing. And he caught the three in a beautiful line. Stylish winner on the outside may have the head in front slightly from Sunday Silence and Charlatan is poking up on the inside. There's only about a neck between the three of them. They're racing abreast going to the mile pole. Charlatan kicking up on the inside with Sunday Silence one away from the fence. And Stylish winner is out three deep as they start to sort themselves out. Sunday Silence has crossed a lead from Charlatan but has been given little peace early because Stylish winner is up within a head of the champ. And as they sweep to the back with three quarters of a mile to go at Sunday Silence leading stylish winner by a neck only and Charlatan the Chilean bread is about six lengths away they've gone the first quarter in about 24 seconds and as they make their way over the back stretch at Sunday Silence on top this is the 37th running of the Californian and this is the 1989 horse of the year in front it's Sunday Silence leading by half a length to stylish winner and they're well clear of Charlatan who's some seven or eight lengths away Sunday Silence having his first start for seven months takes them past the half mile in the Californian Pat Valenzuela and his old pal Sunday Silence they combine to take the Derby and Preakness and today they're renewing acquaintances and at the three eighths pole it's Sunday Silence leading by a half length stylish winner is running a magnificent race on the outside and some seven or eight lengths to Charlatan Sunday Silence will be the first to straighten up Sunday Silence comes to the quarter pole half a length clear stylish winner on the outside is trying desperately to stick with him, but Valenzuela looks confident on Sunday Silence and he clicked the champ into overdrive. Sunday Silence pinched more than a length. Stylish winner is trying gallantly, followed by Charlatan, but Sunday Silence is the leader. Sunday Silence a length in front of Stylish winner. Sunday Silence still in front. It's a triumphant return to the racetrack. Sunday Silence by three quarters of a length. Stylish the margin just three quarters of a length, but Charlie Weddingham got just what he wanted out of that. Sunday Silence returned to the races the time 1.48 for the mile and an eighth Sunday silence is by the Stone Farm Stallion Halo, of course owned by Arthur Hancock and Ernest Gaylor along with Charlie Whittingham, trained by Whittingham and ridden by Pat Valenzuela. As you can see, no uh, placers show betting because of this small field was at Hollywood Park for the Digest to get some post-race comments on the Sunday Silence Connections. And we'll start first with a comment from the Daily Racing Forum's correspondent, John White. A lot of times, the really top horses, like the John Henrys of this sport, they are so competitive that when they're alone on the lead, they tend to relax a little bit sometimes. And they need that competitiveness to really put out. And I think that's why when Stylish Winter came back up toward Sunday Silence through the late stages, Sunday Silence dug in again and was keeping it at about three quarters of a length in those final yards. There was really never any danger, I think, of Stylish Winter going by Sunday Silence. They probably could have gone around the racetrack ten times and he wasn't going to get by. And additionally, Sunday Silence, I noticed on the TV afterwards, certainly wasn't blowing very hard after this race. And I think he got just enough out of it to set him up for the upcoming Hollywood Gold Cup at a mile and a quarter. To comment on getting the mountain back, I, uh, I think I'm very fortunate. I think uh, God gave me this mountain. Uh, it's uh, very unfortunate what happened earlier in the day. Uh, uh, the horse ran a very good race today, and uh, Charlie had him playing fit. He hadn't run since our, since uh, the Breeders' Cup Classic, and uh, for for his first race back, I think he ran a very good race. He he actually toyed with the horses behind him every time the horse came, stylish winner came up next to him, he'd, he'd get away from him. Uh, we got a good race in him, and uh, that's good enough. As long as you win, it don't matter how we are. win by 20 lengths. We don't need that. Arthur, you flew out here from Kentucky. Uh, I, I know you got to be very happy with the result, and it looks like maybe the Gold Cup's next. Uh, in your mind, uh, how far along has Sunday Silence come since last fall when we last saw him? Well, it looks to me like he's filled out a lot and gained 100 pounds or so and really matured. He's a really good, grand-looking horse, and I think he's changed a whole lot. He's a big, strong horse now.